pilot development in and of itself is really just building out your very core product so that you can validate the product itself. You've already validated the idea, now you're building the product so that you can put it into your target market's hands. Okay, now do's and don'ts for pilot app development. Well, the biggest thing you, you do want to focus on is building your pilot app with scale in mind. Okay, so what I don't wanna see is you just building the app uh, as quickly as possible in haphazard ways, um, kind of patchworking the thing together and then putting it into users' hands and having to rebuild it as soon as people come on board to start testing it out, okay? Now, it, it can be helpful to put a really quick and kind of slapdash product out there if that's what you're doing for idea validation in the first place, but generally that happens when you don't have any experience with the app idea, right? You don't have any previous knowledge. You don't have insights, right? You are coming into this with that knowledge, with those insights. So when you're putting your product into your test user's hands, you have a lot of validation, right? You're, you're not going off of a guess here is what I'm getting at. So you want to build with scalability in mind because you want to build in a way that allows you to grow your app and your business as a whole as soon as you launch. You want to launch and then press down harder on the gas pedal versus have to stop and turn around, right? So build with scalability in mind, meaning you want to follow all the best development practices as you build the core version of your app. Make sure that it performs well, that it can grow after you launch. Now, on the flip side, don't build for scale just yet. Now, here's what I mean by that, because obviously those two things are very conflicting, right? You wanna build with scalability in mind, but you don't want to build for scale in your first version. Meaning, don't build all the features and the functionality that aren't going to be necessary to validate the initial core product or solve the initial core problem. Okay, so don't build the features that are going to help you grow at a later stage. Build the features you need now, build those features in a way that will scale, but don't build for scale yet. 